Call to order. This is the fourth regular meeting of the 2009-2010 Common Council. And as uh, customary, our city clerk will read the quote of the evening. Thank you, Mayor. When everyone's opinions are truly valued, the goals of the organization can be achieved in an accelerated manner. Thank you, Sue. Roll call. Warren? Here. Falk? Here. Uh-oh, we have two. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. <laughs> Good news, no TV. No TV. <laughs> but it right. is being recorded. <laughs> Born? Here. Bauk? Here. Bowers? Here. Decker? Here. Gisha? Here. Hannah? Here. Heidemann? Here. Koth? Here. Kittleson? Here. Kleunis? Here. Montemayor? Here. Rinfleisch? Here. Zurich? Here. Vanderweel? Here. Vu? Here. Wangaman? Here. 16 present. Gang's all here. Uh, we will now have the Pledge of Allegiance led by Alderman Bauk. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Corey. Okay, we need approval of the minutes of the last Common Council meeting. President Bourne. Uh, thank you, Mayor Ryan. I move to approve the minutes from the last meeting. Second. A motion in a second. Roll call. It can be all eyes. Oh. All in favor say aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carries. <clears throat> we will now do the swearing in of the new alderman on the council, Mr. Vang Nang Vu, the second district. Mic on you. Just a, just a tad bit. And, we'll and you'll just turn to me. Can you reach? There you go. And if you would raise your right hand, please, and repeat after me. I Vang Vu. I Vang Vu. Swear that I will support. Swear that I will support. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And the Constitution of the State, State of, Wisconsin. of Wisconsin. And will faithfully and impartially. And will faithfully and partially. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of the office of alder person. Of, of the office of alder person. Of the office of the alder, alder person. To the best of my ability. To the best of my abilities. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. Vu. Congratulations. As you probably already know, I'm very new, so there's a lot for me to learn, and I hope that I will learn quick in the next few months. So I'll be asking you a lot of questions, so I hope that you will be helping me through the, the process to know more about these uh, duties as Ottoman. So thank you. Okay, backing up a bit here, we need the uh, confirmation of the mayor's appointments. McLean. Hereby submit the following appointment for your consideration. Jennifer Lurkey to be considered for appointment to the Sustainable Sheboygan Task Force to fill the unexpired term of Regan Howlott, whose term expires 42610, signed by the mayor. Alderman Bourne. I move to approve the uh, appointment. Second. Motion and second. Need a roll call, mm -hmm. Need a roll call please. <clears throat> Born. Aye. Bauk. Aye. 
Bowers. Aye. Decker. Aye. Gisha. Aye. Hannah. Aye. Heidemann. Aye. Koff. Aye. Kittleson. Clionis. Aye. Montemayor. Aye. Rinfleisch. Aye. Surik. Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. Vu. Aye. And Wangaman. Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries. And Alder Person Jean Kittleson to be considered for appointment to the Board of Parks and Forestry to fill the unexpired mm -hmm. term of Alder Person Jody Vanderweel, whose term expires 4 19 2010. This change is necessary pursuant to Section 2 764 sub B of the Municipal Code, which states that one of the members shall be chairman of the Public Works Committee. Signed by the Mayor. President Board. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I move to approve the appointment. Second. Motion and second. Roll call, please. Bulk. Aye. <clears throat> Excuse me. Bowers. Aye. Decker. Aye. Gisha. Aye. Hannah. Aye. Heidemann. Aye. Koth. Aye. Kittleson. Aye. Clionis. Aye. Montemayor. Aye. Rinfleisch. Aye. Surik. Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. Vu. Aye. Wangaman. Aye. And Boren. Aye. 16 ayes. Motion approved. Public forum. Madam City Clerk. Uh, yes, this evening we have Beverly Randall. Is Beverly here? That's where you will be, yes. And Bev, can I have your, if you want to bring the mic down towards you and have your home address, please. My home address is 121 West Union Avenue in Cedar Grove. Okay. And you will have five minutes. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Good evening, Mayor Ryan and members of the council. These days, health care is on the minds of a lot of individuals, whether it's the ability to access f affordable health care, perhaps universal coverage, the high cost of medications, or the advances that are being accomplished in research. From my vantage point, the one component that is often overlooked in the health care industry is mental health care. My name is Beverly Randall, and I have the privilege of serving as the Executive Director of Mental Health America, formerly known as Mental Health Association. We are a nonprofit organization and have served as the county's resource center for mental health issues for 46 years. And actually, we are one of only two staffed offices in the entire state. What we offer is at no charge or very little cost, thanks in part to United Way donations. Unmet mental health needs can cause many aspects of life to suffer. Gone oftentimes is the ability to wake up in the morning and look forward to the day ahead. Gone oftentimes is gainful employment or the ability to perform on a job. Relationships suffer both within a family and with friends and coworkers. Because mental health and physical health are so intricately intertwined, there are often physical health concerns that go along with mental health needs. There are drug and alcohol issues, and with them increased work of law enforcement, which then impacts the court system and also impacts the rate of incarceration in our jails and prisons. I'm here tonight because May is Mental Health Month, something you might not be aware of. And it's a time for us to all focus on how important mental health is, good mental health is, in all of our lives. There are increasing stressors. We know of the loss of employment that has affected thousands of individuals here in our, our county. And there are those who have lost their homes. For those many reasons, there is no better time than to focus on good mental health and what it takes to have good mental health in all of our lives. Our national organization recently launched a project called Live Your Life Well. And more information can be found at a website by that name, liveyourlifewell.org. On that site are 10 evidence-based practices that 
show individuals what it takes to reduce stress and promote their own good mental health. We are a resource center for the county, providing information, confidential referrals, educational programs for youth in the schools and adults. We have an emergency medication account. We offer support groups. We have been involved in child abuse prevention activities and suicide prevention activities. I want you to be aware of that because I believe with the increasing stressors in our county and city, there are more and more of your constituents perhaps approaching you and looking for guidance and direction. What you have in your packet that all of you should have at this point is first of all our brochure which indicates that we're located in the United Way building at 19th and Kohler Memorial Drive where Erie and uh, Kohler Memorial Drive intersect. Our lime green resource card keeps some very important numbers, resource numbers at your fingertips. And this brochure, Help for Hard Times Guide, is a collaborative effort uh, that was put together by United Way and many other partners, funded in part by city development. And it is a guide for people in the community who are facing um, uncertainties and stress. All of these items, whether it's the resource card, our brochure, or this pamphlet, are available in quantities, and probably the best way for you to access whatever supply you need would be to call our office, and we would be happy to get those to you. The other thing that we produce is our Directory of Community Resources, which is a very comprehensive guide to all of the agencies in the county, as well as the support group too can be a valuable tool for you. I've appreciated the opportunity to work with some of you over the years, and if this information is new, I would invite you to come and get to know us better. Again, we're located in the United Way building, and um, the thought that I'd like to leave you with is mental health matters more than ever before. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Okay, that is all for public forum. Alderman Bauck has a word to say. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. As, uh, as we usually do the meeting before uh, Memorial Day, the last meeting before Memorial Day, I'd like to invite the citizens down uh, to join us in Sheboygan for the Memorial Day uh, parade. Uh, that, that'll be kicking off Monday at 9 o'clock, followed by a memorial service in Fountain Park, which will then be followed by a memorial service at the Hmong Memorial. Uh, down by the waterfront. So uh, Memorial Day is, is all about honoring America's war dead and decorating their graves. Um, there are uh, uh, great many veterans here in town, but more especially there are three members of the uh, SPD that are currently activated and serving overseas. John Samuels, Josh Doral, and Robert Erickson uh, are active. So uh, again, on Memorial Day, as you have your brats and have your, your fry out, uh, think about the real meaning of Memorial Day, which is to honor America's war dead and say a prayer for the safe return of our soldiers. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Alderman Buck. <clears throat> Consent agenda 41 through 420. For a motion. President Boren. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I make a motion to accept and file all ROs and accept and adopt all RCs and pass all resolutions. Second. We have a motion and a second. Uh, if I may uh, clarify here, 4-4 which states uh, submitting a communication is a matter of record from attorney Kulchtaller copying the city on the required notification of the owners of properties adjacent to the Brett 76 of the pending site closure. To clarify this, this is a DNR um, environmental site closure, which means the site is going to be taken off of the list of DNR polluted properties. So this has nothing to do with the closing of the business. This is a good thing that the site will be uh, deemed clean. So just to clarify that, nothing to do with the closing of Brett's. I think he's doing fine business-wise. So we have a motion and a second. Uh, looking for a roll call, please. Heidemann, Koth, Kittleson, Kleunis, Montemayor, Rinfleisch, Surik, Vanderweel, Vu, 
Longerman. Aye. <clears throat> Excuse me, Boren. Aye. And Balk. Aye. 16 ayes. Okay, motion, pay, motion carries. Uh, 421 and 422, communications and petitions to be referred. Reports of <coughs> Officers 2, 4-23, by the Library Director conveying the actions the Library Board has taken in response to the proposed STAR Program Resolution in Council and the related impact on continuing eligibility of the City of Sheboygan for membership in Eastern Shores Library System. We are looking for a motion. Motion to accept and file. Second. We have a motion to accept and file and a second. All in favor say aye. Oh, aye. Un under discussion, Your Honor. Under discussion. Alderman Bout. Thank you, Your Honor. I have a question. The author of document 428 tonight in our packet makes the assertion that library employees are getting a 3.5% pay raise this year. Can anybody verify, can anybody confirm or deny that library employees are getting 3.5% this year? Did Mr. Paulus asserts that in document 428. And before we accept and file this, I'm just curious. It's not 428. It's 429. Oh, okay. 429. Apologize. 429. Can't read my own writing. <laughs> so is any, can anybody confirm or deny whether library employees are getting 35 Possibly our uh, director of finance, Terry Hansen, can answer that question. I'm uncertain if it's three and a half, but I, I'm pretty sure that is at least 3%. Okay. So I just wanted to state, Mr. Mayor, as this document gets accepted and filed, that if Mr. Paulus is correct and our library employees are getting a 3.5% raise, uh, when several of our other uh, city employees are getting what they're getting, it would be a great time for those employees come to the table as we talk about the STAR program and talk about how they're going to contribute as well. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Alderman Buck. Alderman Gisha. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. Uh, uh, I believe uh, it's my information as well. I met with the Finance Committee of the Library. I've had discussions with the Library Director regarding this. Uh, whether it's three or three and a half, I too am not sure. But please keep in mind that's not all of it. Like Paul Harvey used to say, it's not the rest of the story. There's also merit increases, much like we used to have in our non-rep pay plan, that will also kick in. You will find people in that department getting in excess of 5% uh, based on their criteria for 2009. And this is in the last half of 2009? This is beginning January 1. It began January 1 of 2009. Thank you, Vice President Gisha. Under discussion, any other? Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> Motion carries. To be referred 4 24 through 4 31. Four 32 by Alderman Kittleson declaring Wednesday, May 20th, 2009 as Let's Get Physical Sheboygan County National Employee Health <laughs> and Fitness Day. Alderperson Kittleson. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I would ask that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. We have a motion and a second. Under discussion? Under discussion. I hope everyone had a chance to read the resolution. As you can tell, this day occurs right in the middle of Bike and Walk to Work Week, and uh, we're encouraging our employees to uh, participate to the greatest extent possible. We participated last year, did very well. There are traveling trophies to be won, and um, we're just hoping everyone will uh, just uh, uh, be aware of it. Wednesday, May 20th, that you get in at least 20 minutes of of uh, uh, activity and that you record that. Uh, uh, I know uh, every department I had gone around to leave uh, tracking sheets and information. So we just encourage everybody to, uh, to uh, uh, participate in this Let's Get Physical National Employee Health and Fitness Day. Thank you. Thank you, all. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. 433 and 434 lie over. 435 through 438 to be referred. 
Alderman Bout. Mayor, um, for item 436, would it be, I just want to make sure we're doing the right process here. I think the committee of the whole might benefit from some of that discussion, but I wonder if it should go to City Plan Commission, and then if you or, and Alderman Hanna would consider referring it to committee of the whole, I think that would be very interesting for us to share with the citizens. So you would like this referred to city planning? And I'd, I'd refer that to the pleasure of the, the chairperson of committee of the whole, but either to city planning and then committee of the whole or to both at the same time, whatever okay, she thinks Okay, we have is it best. going to city planning already, so committee of the whole. Okay. Okay, so we'll refer to city planning and now, committee of the whole. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Okay, we are up to report of committee five to be referred 4-39 report of committee 7 by building use committee recommending approval of the move of the city attorney's office in the city planning and development office to city hall premises at 828 Center Avenue as shown in the attached drawings Alderman Surratt we are looking for a motion Alderman Surratt yeah, I move that the uh, report be um, also be uh, accepted and placed on file. Second. Accepted and adopted. <laughs> Alderman Rinfleisch. Uh, thank you. Um, uh, working with the, um, the building inspection department with the contractor examiners committee, I question when they have that entire space right now in that west wing if they're going to fit in the section. Uh, that, that quarter of a section now on the lower level, uh, has anybody done square foot? I don't imagine they have been done, but the, the square footage analysis and space use to make sure they fit in there. Uh, the conference room is stuffed full with blueprints and what have you, and the offices are already pretty tight. So I'm, ho I'm hoping that someone can shed some light on that to make sure that they're going to fit down there. Director Bittner, can you reply to that, please? Uh, just looking for clarification that um, the space that the building inspection department is in right now, um, which seems to me to be awfully congested at this point in time, and comparing the two diagrams, it looks like there's actually less space for them going down to the first floor. Uh, is that correct, or are there, were there no other options at this point in time? The, uh, the building department will move in considerably less space. The upper levels are much more, uh, as you would think of, executive offices with spaces for conference rooms. Uh, spaces for the library and that type of thing. Uh, the space on the first floor is more confined. Uh, however, looking at how to best utilize the space as a group of employees was a work group and they not only have their individual offices but have some common space where it's expected they would uh, exchange ideas and do some uh, working together. The one verification we have is in 2006 the city actually had a uh, architect come in and do a space study for all the city offices. Uh, that space study was actually sort of part of the police department and, and part of the, the new police station, but also looked at all departments in the city. We do meet the criteria that was set forth in, in that study, but it is the answer, direct answer to the question is a reduction in space. Thank you, Bill. Yeah, if, I, if I may add on that, there is some. Uh, uh, definite advantages to moving building inspection uh, and the Department of City Development together. Uh, Paul Ed Enders, our Director of City Development, is also the, uh, the department head of, uh, of the building inspection, and moving them into the same area will definitely uh, uh, increase some efficiencies in, in that area. So. so we have a uh, motion to accept and adopt, and a second. Uh, roll call, please. Decker. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clayunis? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rindfleisch? Aye. Zurich? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Vu? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Aye. Bauk? Aye. And Bowers? Aye. 16 ayes. Report of committee number eight.
By finance recommending establishing the STAR program and directing all specified department heads of the city to prepare and implement a 1% to 3% reduction in their current 2009 operating budget and passing the attached substitute res resolution. Looking for a motion. Vice President Gisha. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I move that the report of committee be accepted and adopted and that the substitute resolution be put upon its passage. Second. We have a motion and a second. Under discussion? Uh, if I may, uh, Mayor Ryan, I'd like to offer uh, two amendments, if I may, two very uh, small amendments that pertain to the uh, very last page of the resolution when it comes down to the, the dates. And I gave those to, uh, I gave my copy to. Uh, I to, have a uh, copy right here. No, uh, so. there were dates on the, uh, Sue, if I could have you uh, maybe read what those mm -hmm. two changes are as I gave you okay. my copy. Ah. Okay, um, the changes in the last paragraph where it says no later than June 12th, that would be the 22nd. And the last sentence, recommendations to be no later than July 1, that's changing to July 7th. Thank you, Sue. If I could continue, Mayor Ryan. Please. That corresponds to the timeline that uh, I'd only made five copies. I thank Alderperson Clayunas for making additional copies for each alderman. That reads that uh, on June 22nd, individual department heads are to uh, report to the Finance Committee. The Finance Committee then produce a summary of those departmental efforts and plans to uh, comply with the resolution. And then on June 30th, the Committee of the Whole will meet to uh, discuss those various uh, department head recommendations and actions, followed then by a July 6th Council vote uh, on, those, uh, on those recommendations and actions. Uh, upon uh, theoretical passage on July 6th, uh, of those recommendations, uh, the full force of those changes then were to begin to take place. Thank you. The amendment. That is the amendment. A second. Any, do we have a, a second on the amendment? Second, third. We have a second and a third. <laughs> Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Why don't we do all eyes on the amendment? Oh, can we do a, mm. first of all, on the amendment, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Amendment carries. Now on the substitute amended resolution? That, yeah, that would be it. Roll call. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heideman? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clyunas? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Surik? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Vu? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Balk? Bowers aye. and Decker, aye. 16 ayes. I can have a uh, motion uh, to file 442 and 443. They're just duplicates of 441. Alderman Hanna. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I make a motion to file 442 and 443. Second. Motion is second. All in favor? Aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carries. <coughs> Matters laid over number 11. Resolution number 3-09-10 by Alder Person Kittleson dissolving the Blue Harbor Resort Conven Convention Center Committee. Alder Person Kittleson. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I would make a uh, move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. A motion and a second under discussion. Under discussion, I just uh, would let uh, council know that this committee has not met in over a year and a half, and I think that they've uh, they, at the time they did meet, they took care of everything that they needed to. Um, the uh, Paulette Enders up in the city planning department has the copies of the, I believe, uh, the work that they did up there. Um, everything comes now comes through the finance committee, free days for the convention center, and I believe uh, uh, reports also come to the Finance Committee so that anything uh, that needs to be talked about concerning the Blue Harbor Resort Convention Center um, can be uh, talked about there at, in, in the Finance Department. So I'm, that would Thanks, be Thanks, Gene. Mm -hmm. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Aye. Heideman. Aye. Koth. Aye. Kittleson. Aye. Clayunis. Aye. Montemayor. Aye. Rinfleisch. Aye. Surik. Aye. Vanderweel. 
Vu? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. And Gesha? Aye. 16 ayes. Other matters authorized by law. 4-44, an RC by the Information System Steering Committee recommending authorizing entering into an agreement for IT services with Impact Consultants Incorporated. Vice President Gisha. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I move that the report of committee be accepted and adopted. Second. We have a uh, report to accept and adopt and to pass the resolution, correct? Correct. Correct. Yes, correct. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and a second. <laughs> Under discussion? Alderperson Kittleson. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'm just wondering, this um, can, can you just tell us again how much this is costing? And is it it's in the budget? Does, can someone just refresh our memory on this? Finance Director Terry Hansen would be, and Acting IT Director, Acting IT, yes, Acting IT Director, free of charge. And... And just give us a little background Terry on Hansen. why we're doing this, too. Thank you. Um, there were two positions that were authorized that are not filled in the IT department right now. And from the savings of those positions with the salaries and benefits, there will be sufficient funds to cover this based upon the anticipated work schedule of about 24 to 30 hours a week at the rate of 120. And... Um, if thousand. No. What's it? What was the price? $120 an hour. 120 Yeah. And the contract is also set up based upon performance measures that if the <coughs> consultant is not performing to or providing the anticipated um, product, then we have the right to terminate that immediately. So. Okay. Okay. Alderperson Kittleson. Thank you. May I ask again? And then how long? At, what is the contract for? Uh, what is the maximum? You're going to keep the consultant, or don't we don't know, or is there there is no maximum or minimum time frame? The the time frame that's specified to be done with the majority of the work in mid August, and then to scale that back based upon how we need to go about implement through implementation. So it's kind of a variable, but I think the max on it we would spend is maybe one hundred ten thousand tops. Okay, thank you. Alder Person Montemayor. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. Um, I thank you, Mr. Hansen, that you said that most of the work would be completed by August because I was thinking the 33 weeks, if he did it that many hours for that many weeks, would be 120,000 almost. But I'm glad to hear it's less than that yeah. for a little over half a year's work. But thank you. Alderman Rinfleisch. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, keep that in mind while we're throwing large numbers around for. Um, a consultant it certainly sounds like a job I would rather have right now. Um, but keep in mind that unlike hiring staff where there is salary, there is benefits as well as is what they're paying them hourly, um, when they're on staff it's very tough to get rid of somebody. Uh, what's nice about a consultant is when they do the work, they're done. Um, so this is definitely one way that we can look at um, you know, privatizing, if you will, some of the, the city uh, work that needs to be accomplished here as well. So I thank the uh, uh, Information Systems Steering Committee for uh, their work. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Rinfleisch. If I may expound upon that a bit and just explain to the public um, what we're doing here. When uh, uh, IT Director Tujer Lee uh, did a quick exit out of the city, resigned and walked out on the same day, um, he left a lot of, lot of unanswered questions as far, to, as far as what he had accomplished and what he did not. And this consultant is uh, familiar with the uh, AS400 system that we're running, the Munis software that we're, we're implementing, and he is going to map out and an entire map of our IT system and what interfaces with what and what is being served by what server, et cetera. Right now, we don't have that information. So he's going to do that and then meet with every department head and get their needs that they actually need on their IT systems and then implement it after that along with the IT staff. He will be reporting to, IT, or to acting IT director Terry Hansen directly, who will be keeping track of his hours. He will be working hand-in-hand -hand with our four person IT staff who will be learning from him and in the same respect critiquing him and his work so that if uh, we are sure that this work is going on and if it is not we can end the contract time the goal is in a very short period to come up with a picture of our 
information technology that we can improve upon it and gain some efficiencies in the city. Alderperson Montemayor. Thank you again, Mr. Um, Mayor Ryan. Um, how did we come about this gentleman? Did, did we do an RFP? And I'm glad we're having him do this. I, I'm assuming it's a gentleman, perhaps it's a woman. Uh, we, came, we came across him, uh, actually the city assessor, um, which is uh, an, another piece that we passed recently, the city assessor software, uh, which actually eliminated a is, will eliminate another position in the city mm -hmm. assessor's office through efficiencies gained by it, has a return on investment of 112% in two years. This is the gentleman that introduced that, so he seems to know uh, what he's doing. He's very familiar with municipal systems, has worked with many of the municipalities around the state. And that's how we were. Uh, that's how we were introduced to him. I have met with him personally a couple times. Uh, Terry Hansen has has met with him on several occasions, and we're confident that uh, he will be able to do the job for us. And if not, it's an open-ended contract. So, any further discussion? Can we have a roll call, please? Heideman. Aye. Koth. Aye. Kittleson. Aye. Clayunis. <clears throat> Montemayor, Aye. Rinfleisch, Aye. Surik, Vanderweel, Aye. Vu, Aye. Wangaman, Aye. Warren, Aye. Bauk, Aye. Bowers, Aye. Decker, Aye. Gisha, Aye. and Hannah. Aye. 16 ayes. 4 45 to be referred. 4 46. A resolution by Alderman Gisha authorized retaining outside counsel to represent the city in the matter of Blue Harbor Resort Sheboygan LLC versus City of Sheboygan and authorizing payment for said services. Alderman Gisha. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I would like to ask the council for a suspension of the rules. Suspension of the rules under discussion. Uh, if uh, I could call on Attorney McLean to explain the need for suspension. Um, thank you, uh, Mayor Ryan. Uh, this matter relates to the summons and complaint that's document 430 in your uh, Blue Harbor Resort, Sheboygan LLC is suing the city for uh, excessive assessment of their 2008 property taxes. Uh, the complaint was filed and served on our office, I think, on the 12th, an answer needs to be filed before the next council meeting. Uh, so I ask that <coughs> this uh, proposed authorization of hiring outside council be acted on tonight because uh, it wouldn't be time to act on it before the next regular council meeting. Uh, that addresses the suspension part of it. On the suspension, any further discussion? Just do a all in favor of suspending the rules say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Vice Th President Gisha. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. We have a motion and a second under discussion. Roll call, please. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clayunis? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Surik? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Vu? Wangaman, Aye. Boren, Bauk, Bowers, Aye. Decker, Aye. Gisha, Aye. Hannah, Aye. and Heidemann. Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries. Other matters? Attorney McLean. Thank you, Mayor Ron. 447 is a communication from Jim and Jolene Clunk regarding the fact that they put a planter around the city tree in front of their home to address the problems with tree roots and someone has complained. That will be referred to Public Works. 448 is a committee report by salary and grievance. Uh, your committee met and discussed that the city continue with exchanging formerly Cambridge Integrated Services Group, the city's workers' compensation third party administrator. <coughs> administrator through December 31, 2009, with the flexibility to change carriers for the year 2010. That lies over. 449 is a committee report by salary and grievance. Your committee to whom was referred a copy of resolution number 6-09-10 by Alder.
to Han and Bourne, establishing the STAR program and directing all specified department heads of the city to prepare and implement uh, reductions in their operating budgets, recommends the attached substitute resolution be passed. That lies over. <clears throat> you just file that. Oh, can that be filed? Yes. The same as the other four. Oh, okay, we'd look for a motion to file on that then. So moved. And a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Filed. <laughs> Under discussion, Alderman Rinfleisch. As much as I want to file this because we've already discussed it, since it's not on the agenda, can we be filed or does that have to lie over? I believe it could be filed. Uh, Perfect. All the, the actions already been taken by the council on the STAR resolutions. Perfect, thank you. 450 is an ordinance amending section 29-75, the 1975 municipal code, so as to reclassify the position of cable TV production coordinator. The position goes from non-represented to local 1564 AFSCME. Lies over. 451 is an ordinance amending section 2975 of the 75 Sheboygan Municipal Code, so as to delete the part-time account clerk in the finance department's table of organization. That lies over. 452 is an ordinance reducing the current salaries of all their persons by 6%. That lies over. 453 is an RO by the purchasing agent submitting an evaluation of request for quotations for housekeeping and janitorial services for the City of Sheboygan Police Department located at 1315 North 23rd Street as directed by the Common Council. That will be referred to Finance and Public Protection and Safety. 454 is an RO by the City Clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2010 and June 30, 2011. Referred to Law and Licensing. 455 is an RO by the City Clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2010 and June 30, 2011. Law and Licensing. We have a motion to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? We're adjourned.